So today we are going to be looking at Salix humulus. The common names are prairie willow and the short growing willow. You can also call it little growing willow. This willow, Salix, Salix humulus, um, is in the same genus as the whooping willow from Harry Potter. And, but this one's not going to grow as tall as, not very much taller than me. Well, um, these pollinators are bees and flies. Um, they're all over over here. Um, like, uh, let's see here. Somewhere, like over here, um, there's more over there, but I just can't pick over here because it's a good spot. Now you can see here on these uh, staminate flowers, the male flowers, they have these red anthers. They have these red anthers. And this is variety tristis, variety tristis, Salix humilis variety tristis. And one thing to note about this variety is that these, uh, these staminate or male catkins, they're a lot smaller than variety humilis, which are going to be over 15 millimeters to like, I don't know, 25, 35 millimeters. And this on uh, variety tristis, they're going to be under... 14 millimeters. Um, I think a 13.5 is kind of the size. This is much shorter than that if you can see them. So each one of these male stamens is going to have these darker colored scales. Um, sometimes they're kind of lighter green to, to almost black. Um, and again, those, those red stamens or those red uh, anthers, they have two stamens. So each one of these flowers has two stamens. There's just a bunch uh, in one catkin. So these female catkins, again, we have variety tristis, so these are going to be shorter, under 20 millimeters. They're over 20 millimeters usually in variety humilis, in variety humilis. They're going to have these dark scales. You can kind of see it a little bit here. They usually have a red stigma. Uh, they've kind of faded with time here. Uh, the catkins themselves, the catkins themselves here are going to be this greenish color, sometimes with a purplish um, kind of a darker brownish purple color as well, that the females are on one plant, the males are on another plant. The males are on another plant. Um, so this is again the, the female catkins here. So the leaves are alternately arranged. They're alternately arranged and they have those, you can see those those veins, they're, they're kind of, on the top side they're impressed and on the bottom you can see them kind of divoted out. Um, so let's flip that over and see if we can see that, kind of see it. Uh, so they have these impressed veins that oftentimes on the branches more crowded, more crowded to the edge of the branches. Uh, and then they have that, that glaucous underside, that glaucous underside of the leaf here, that glaucous underside of the leaf. So sometimes on these, on some of the larger leaves, you're going to get kind of a heart shaped base um, or a chordate base. And sometimes you get this tapering, sometimes you get this tapering see on this one it's kind of wavy on the edge variety humulus i see more often with because uh, they're bigger leaves and variety humulus the leaf blades are going to be um i don't know they're like five to i think 10 plus centimeters long and they're going to be uh they're going to be much smaller in tristis and the uh, the petioles which are the leaf stalks on tristis variety tristis are going to be under three millimeters usually under three millimeters and over three millimeters on humulus so altogether just humulus humulus is a bigger plant and you're going to really see those wavy margins more um overall these these leaves are irregularly toothed they're regularly toothed look at the twigs the new twigs are often have this little bit of hair on them they're usually hairy and then the old twigs are kind of yellowish color and they're gonna lack hair kind of grayish you know, they get the, the grayish, yellowish, the older, older are more gray, and then the mid-age are, are kind of this, this yellowish, brownish color, and then the, the light green new growth, um, and that's where you're going to see the hair. I mentioned the stipules here. So the stipules, which are going to be right up there, you can see it right there. The stipules um, are a little bit leafy on these new leaves, uh, but on Trista, on the older leaves, the stipules will be lacking. The stipules will be lacking. It's on the humulus, they're supposed to be staying on. And I guess one more thing on the petioles here, these short petioles here, the short petioles here, they're going to be lacking glands. Some willows have these little prominent glands that you can see, just these little bumps on the, the petioles. So how do you know then that this is Salix, that you got Salix humulus? short kind of round uh the pistolate immense aments that are 
two and a half or less centimeters long. Uh, I mean, they can get up to five, but usually they're under two and a half. Beside that, I mean, you're looking at the impressed uh, veinlets above, uh, the impressed veinlets, pubescent young, the new branches that are uh, pubescent, you are, which is going to be different than something like Salix Discolor, which is going to have glabrous, your old newish branches. Something the obscurely toothed, the obscurely toothed leaves are really kind of another giveaway. I mean, you're going to see that in something like Salix Discolor, the Pussy Willow, but this is, this is uh, usually a little bit more narrow leaves. A lot of our willows, we have really consistent toothing, really consistent toothing. And the, the whitened bottom, that whitened bottom here, as you can see the dark color here, the dark color on the adax, adaxial surface, and then the light color on the, that'll split off a lot of the other, a lot of the other willows. Um, there are still a lot of willows that have that kind of whitened underneath, glaucous or super hairy, uh, but that's one, one first way that you can split it off. So I missed the uh, the fruiting season for this video, so I apologize for that. But this is in the Salicaceae, the Salicaceae, so Salix, the willow family, uh, and they're going to have they're going to have their fruit have these these uh, these little blowy wind things like you're going to see on the cottonwoods because cottonwoods, the populace, are in this um, Salicaceae too. Uh, so here's the here's the fruit that's barely holding on here, but sometimes you'll see it. It looks like cottonwood. Uh, cotton blowing around because um, again, it's in the same it's in the same family. So that's it Salix humilis a really cool shrub really cool shrub